Dahomey. Gutierrez claims of a white cap foul. Oh, and that could be trouble. That could be trouble. The impact player retaliated. Rudy Camacho was saying that he had been fouled initially, and it's a red card. Rudy Camacho's been sent off. Well, this has changed the game completely. Rudy Camacho lashed out at Freddie Montero, who made the most of it, has to be said. Of course, it'll be looked at right now. The VAR is David Gantar. And if there's a clear and obvious error in that, then Drew Fisher might be called over to the monitor. But Rudy Camacho retaliated, and you can't do that anymore. There's too many cameras watching. Well, here's where he thought the foul was as Dahomey goes through him. Whether that's a foul or not, regardless, he has to show so much more professionalism. Veteran player, 29 years old, and to react like that is absolutely inexcusable, and he has really hurt his team here. We mentioned that he's been so strong for the impact this year. And when he's been bad, he has been disastrous. And so early into the game, 37 minutes in. Now that angle, that angle there, that might have to be looked at because Freddie Montero went down like a ton of bricks. I said he took full advantage of a little tap really on his knee and Freddie's getting treatment for that. But I have a funny feeling if Dave Gantar has a look, it might be a clear and obvious mistake. Yeah, I always go back to the Beckham one in 98. I guess that was kind of the first time where I ever saw such a, a simple lash out, see a red card in the game against Argentina. But, you know, by the letter of the law, you cannot lash out like that. Does he make any contact? Well, let's have another look to see. <laughs> it certainly doesn't warrant treatment, does it? But he needs to keep a cooler head, the veteran. He'll be very lucky if he gets off here. As for now, Rudy Camacho has been sent off, so that's three red cards in two games. Drew Fisher is standing in amongst three impact players here. Henri waiting and hoping that that might be overturned. The longer it goes, though, you have to think that if Drew Fisher's not going over to the sideline to have a look, then that initial decision will stand. So that's the initial. Yeah, I think contact. he gets a bit of the knee there and perhaps it is a foul but the referees allowed play to go on and from there I'm not sure what Montero says. It's, it's just a slap isn't it. You can't do it though and you can't do it in your own penalty area. There it is. Yeah it's it's stupid but he needs to go for that and we'll see how. <laughs> Well, the impact adjust here with 10 players. We saw the other night Lucas Cavallini get sent off for something that he shouldn't have done. Well, it's also a penalty. Yeah, he's inside the area. So it's a double jeopardy for the impact. Not only do they have a man st a sent off, but Freddie Montero, who we alluded to, will happily accept penalty duties and an astonishing turn of events in and around the 40th minute in Vancouver. <laughs> And the arguments carry on and Thierry Henry is having a long chat with the fourth official Alain Rouche. And he can't believe it but the impact who are chasing top spot in this Canadian series to go on and play in the Canadian championship final are now down a man in the 40th minute and they could be down a goal if Freddie Montero converts. And that's what they're all saying it was a foul the first time. Well, here we go. Minute 40, and Freddie Montero with a chance to get on the board for the first time in 2020, and goal number 69 in his MLS career. Montero takes it away! And this game has turned on its head with a moment of madness from Rudy Camacho. And how much conviction was in that spot kick from Freddie Montero? Unlike what we've seen previously from the Whitecaps, and from Toronto FC it has to be said as well that put them in danger here by missing the one in Toronto against Montreal. Freddie Montero steps up and smashes it home sending the up the wrong way and the Whitecaps have the lead again here at BC Place but perhaps more importantly they are up a man for the balance of the game obviously depending on what comes next. We saw what happened after Cavallini was sent off in the last game with Maciel joining him. 
And there probably are more fireworks on display here tonight, but the, the referee has made the right decision there. Rudy Camacho has cost his team, and we'll see how.